Shalom, Israel. Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Rakathu Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakar Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to our sincere brothers that, that preaches this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to our sincere, genuine brothers and sisters supporting this true doctrine. All praises and glory is due. You know what? Brothers just make you happy, you know? There's a balance in this truth. Some brothers uplift you. Some brothers suppress you. All right? In this truth. Let's face it. This is reality. Yeah? Yeah? Now these brothers here, right, the brothers' channel is JMS, behold, I come quickly. Deep brother, all right? And the name of this video here is Love the Brotherhood. Now, I came across this today, right, because there's so many, you know, you can't keep up with the videos. There's so many edifying videos out there. From their apostles come down. There's so many edifying videos. You can't keep up. But some brothers can keep up. Right? And that's a blessing unto them. Alright? But this video is about, I think it's about five days old. Right? So I came across it today and I watched it today. Yeah? And they talk about love. Love the brotherhood. And it's not the first time. These brothers are always talking about charity. They always talk about love. They always talk about sincerity. Right? And that is their gift. They bring up other things too, other topics, like other brothers. Yes? But listen, brothers, I'm going to say it to you, right? And sisters, it's not all about every minute. It's about Esau. It's not all about um, the history all the time. It's, listen to me, it's good. It's all about prophecy. We know that. It's all about the prophecies. Yes? What is to come? All right? Because we're in a time of prophecy. 100%. Yes? So we have to keep on pushing that. All right? Because we know we're at the end. We know we're at the end. But in the meantime, whilst we're waiting, patiently waiting, Right? Whilst we are trying our best to keep occupied in the spirit, yes? We have to talk about other things. We have to balance these things out. It's no point pointing a finger, pointing a finger, pointing a finger, and you're not checking yourself. That's why these brothers always bring. That's what, listen to me, there's a spirit. I watch it today. So I'm young, I'm a babe in this truth. So I have to humble myself, I have to keep the L because I'm not in a position to say certain things, right? But certain things that you see along the way over the years, but you take the L, all right? But you have to acknowledge the fact that no matter how high you get into this truth, you have to still take the L. The L, right? The L, the lowly, whatever it means. So like you're, if I, if I, the low, um, like you're a learner, right? The low, the lowly, the L, right? Brother, can correct me, please, if I didn't um, get that, wor that, that word right. Take the L. When I first came to the truth, I was told, right? Not I, personally. When brothers are teaching, you have to always take the L. Always take the L. They keep on pushing that. L, the L, the L, the L. Right? When it comes to this truth. So you know what? You have to put off the old man. You have to put off the old man. Yeah? And humble yourself. All right? But the fact is what I'm trying to say is all about the brotherhood. Right? And 
I want you brothers and sisters to watch this video. It's, listen to it. It would uplift your spirit because it's all about the brotherhood. All right? So no matter what level, and I tell you something, no matter how high you get up there, you have to keep on checking yourself to watch videos like this from time to time to remind yourself who you are. None of us is, is, is powerful and strong as Yahweh Shai. But he, was a, he, he felt emotions also. But some brothers in his truth think they are, they're high and mighty. They don't have emotions. Or if, they're not, or if they have emotions, they don't show it. All right? All right, you must pull up it. You must, you must gird up your loins. Listen to me. We know all that. But how long can you pull up your loins for? How long can you gird up your loins? You have to release sometimes. Right? The same way when a man is burning, he has to release sometimes. If he doesn't release, he's going to get frustrated, he's going to get depressed, he's going to get angry. All right? A man has to release. That's a part of the emotions, isn't it? That's a part of the emotions. So we... Yahweh Shai felt emotion. All right? But he was on a different level, a different wavelength. We cannot, we could fast, right? Maybe for a couple of days or a day or whatever. Yes? Some brothers might liquid fast for a week or two weeks. But Yahweh Shai went without food and water for 40 days and 40 nights. Right? And then Satan came to tempt him at his lowest point. What does that mean? That Yahweh Shai did have a low point too. Just like us in the truth, we have low points. But it's all that pride. It's that pride you must get rid of. That's why you must watch this video. And it's other brothers in the past has brought up videos. But these brothers here always keep on bringing out charity videos, brotherhood videos. You know what I mean? Come on, where's everybody doing it? Well, we must bring it up from time to time. You must watch this video. Love the brotherhood. GMS, behold, I come quickly. Right? So you could re remember that, to check this video out. All right? Because it's always about the charity. It's all about the brotherhood. It's all about looking after each other. Right? It's all about removing all the pride from you. Re Listen to me. If you watch this, it just... Goes into a lot of aspects of being in this truth as a brother. All right? Stop suppressing brothers. It's not a time for suppressing brothers now. Some keep on saying, you're good, you're good, you're good all the time. Nothing not can't touch you. That's pride. All right? That is pride. Because we're all suffering. Listen to me. We want that one goal. We need that goal. And that goal is serving you. How about Sham Yoshai? Okay? We've all loved with all your strength. And try to follow his laws, statutes, and commands to the best of your ability, the high holy days. What, do what pleases you. How about Sham Yoshai? Till he comes. And at closing, taking the L from whatever stage. If you're on the milk, you take the L. If you're on the meat, you take the L. You always take the L. Because the higher you come in this truth, you must know, you must be humble. And I tell you something, I cannot stand, and these brothers are going to it too. I cannot stand, that's why when I watch this video, I had to do a video on it, a response to it. That pride, man. You think you're better than anybody. That you've done it and you've done it. You've worn a t-shirt. Say, yes, you already, you've done it now. You've taken the pain. You're up there. No, it don't go so. The L doesn't stop. The L does not stop. That L continues. All right? Who are you? Who am I? Who are we? We are nothing. Because we are sinners. And we all just want you need to repent. Right? And don't think you repent over one night. It keeps, it's a continuous thing. Every day you have to repent. Every day. So therefore you have to keep on checking yourself. You have to always check yourself. You're not better than nobody. 
We all are one body and we need to get into the kingdom. That's all it is. Humble yourself now and then when you can relax in the kingdom, you have that peace and quietness in the kingdom. So whatever's tormenting you now, shake that off. Shake it off, brothers. Whatever is tormenting you now, shake it off. Whatever sh whatever's bothering you, sisters, shake it off. Let go. Just let go. Because we all got pride in us, but we have to pray over it and acknowledge it. Right? And making the brother feel low all the time and you, you, you're showing authority over him all the time. You're suppressing the brother. You can't do that and not bring him up. Show authority all the time. Right? You don't have to show authority all the time. Okay? When I used to live in the Caribbean, right? You had some men that used to wear slippers, right? And a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Nice t-shirt, but they were rotten rich. He didn't have to prove that he had money. Because his mannerisms, his way he was confident, yes? He didn't have to prove nothing. Some of them drove normal cars. You won't believe. But they had money and you found that they had money. I'm not saying money is a good thing to, in that sense. Like if you're showing off. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'm just showing you. You don't have to prove nothing. But the point is that when you find out that that person had money and they keep humble, you respect them more. So it speaks for itself. So brothers don't have to keep on showing a little front and powerful chest. Yeah, man, me Chris, me Chris, me good. Me good all the time. Like if nothing can't touch you. Like if nothing can't touch you. Who are you? Who are you? Nothing can't touch you. We're all suffering. All right? Sometimes you have some brothers that try to hide that they're not feeling pain. Yeah, man, they're good all the time. They're good all the time, right? And then sometimes, you know what? They drop the guard. They don't even roll it. They drop the guard and you, and you see their face drop and they're in pain. And they say, oh, I caught you there. So what's this? Why are you, why are you pretending? We're all one body. We're all suffering. All right? When a brother's suffering, you don't put him down. and say, oh, you're weak, brother. You're weak. Yeah? We all are weak. When I'm telling you I'm weak, I won't lie to you. I need strength. And it's beautiful when brothers stick to each other and give you strength because we need to bind together. Because once we're in the truth, in our sincerity, we need to look after one another. And listen to me, right? It's not to do with nothing personal because these brothers bring it out all the time. So I'm thinking, but hold on. If I'm seeing certain things in the spirit over the years and I keep quiet and this is keeping keep on throwing in the face. It keeps on repeating in the face. You see videos like this and these brothers keep on pushing it out. You say, hold on there. You know what? I know I've been taking the L, but you know what? These brothers are right. I've been seeing certain things too. Because you know what? There's still jealousy out there. There's jealousy and pride in the truth. And these brothers are endless to me. Right? They could be in the truth like seven, eight years, nine years, whatever he is, how much he is, but they're still endless to me. I might be older than all of them. I might be older than all of these brothers here. Okay? Some of these brothers here could be my son. Right? But I lower myself because you have to take the L to acknowledge that you could be an elder, right? Because when you, before I came into this truth, you, you get to old, you're, you're a certain age, right? You might think because you're old in everybody, you're an elder to everybody. That could be right. You're elder in you're the world. You've been living in the world. But you could be, you could be old in, in, in the spirit, older in the spirit. And you acknowledge that. So you come into this truth. And you see brothers are younger than you, half your age, a quarter of your age. And you accept the fact that these brothers are elders over you because they're higher in the spirit. But at the same time, you mustn't get too cocky over your head. Don't get too carried away. Because before you come in the truth, you're nobody. And when you come in the truth, you, you feel like you're somebody, which is good. Yes, because the most High chooses you. But don't get carried away. And look down at everybody else like you feel, okay, you've been brothers are uplifting you in the spirit. And you have some brothers there in the truth now that they're up there in the spirit now and people exalt them so much, they got so high and mighty, is that like you can't say nothing to them. Right? 
Humble yourself, man. Humble. All right? Let me play a quick bit of this video here, right? Friendly affection one to another with brotherly love, with brotherly love, man, to be kindly affectionate. With, that means you're going to be patient with a brother. That means you're going to, you know, whatever the brother Patient. Is, all that, man. Yeah. Brothers, no. You're going to be patient. You're going to be merciful. All of that, man. Forgiven, forgiving, right. you know? That means you ain't going to fucking do it. Hey, you, you may get a little... Yeah, that brother correct himself, right? You see what I'm saying? So when you get high in this truth, you must, you must know when to correct yourself. All right? So we know sometimes it's the devil jump on us, yes? And you, and you rebuke it and you correct yourself, right? Right? But you have to check yourself. Keep on checking yourself. Because no matter who you are, what level you are, demons are going to hit you. All right? But acknowledge it. Stop pretending like you're high and mighty that no demons can't hit you. Because I tell you something, right? The more you get into this truth, the more you're serving the most high, Yahweh, Basham, Yashai, right? Is the heavy the demons hit you. Because if the most high knows you're sincere, the most high, you come in this truth, the most high tests you and try you, right? And refines you. So you have to go through these demons that attack you, right? But you must acknowledge who you, you have to acknowledge that and, 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 and sit back and, and pray with the most high. I've got demons on me, take it off, whatever. But don't know you have your pride, you're full of pride. Like no demons can't touch you. And you and you portray an image that like you're good all the time. Right? Get that spirit off you. Right? Doing a bunch of shit. I don't know when. When that brother woke up, I don't know what the daily father sat on that brother's plate this morning. Right, right. right. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We all got a, I don't know. We all got an invisible uh, a battle that we that we that we uh, taking on. And I, and, I, and I consider things like that. You know. But one of the main things about brother is communication, man. Communication. So if you feel if you got demons in your head, you gotta go to your brother and say, "Everything cool, bro?" Yeah, I'll get into a conversation. Yeah, I had a hard day, man. Ah, uh, you had a hard day, right? Chilling, man. I've been, you know, what I'm saying just, you know, you you, you gotta understand. Brother spirits to talk and be a man and say, hey, so you can get those demons out your head. Sometimes it's different things brothers going through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all about being a man. But some brothers think that you by being a man, you just have to, you, you, you can't drop your guard a little bit and you say to a brother, say, boy, you know what I mean? You're feeling rough. No, everything is like you're good all the time. Like if you cannot, can't touch you. All right? Humble yourself, man. These brothers are saying that, listen, it's not from my opinion. These brothers are confirming it too. I used to think the same thing too. As a part of suppression. Right? It's a pride. Right? Like I said to you, these brothers go into a whole lot of things in this video. That's why I said to you, watch it. Love the brotherhood. You hear? GMS, behold, I come quickly. And it goes into a whole bit of things. All right? That's real, brother. Yeah, communication is important, yeah, man. man. Yeah, another thing, too, you don't... Uh, no matter what you're dealing with, I don't, it could be shit. I don't go, your leg, yeah, exactly. I don't your know. leg is hanging halfway yeah. off. Yeah, exactly. And I say that to, uh, to show some sense of severity. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're going through, you still can't. You you, you don't want to allow that to, to uh, affect your brother. Bro, 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 he kept, he kept it, he kept it, he kept it on point, man. That's that's one of our greatest examples, man. I got a hot boy from that brother, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, from the uh, the brother Remnant Save one forty four. The brother put uh, Matthew twenty three and eleven. But he that is greatest amongst you should be a servant. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Put Luke twenty two and twenty six. But ye shall not, be, but ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest amongst you, let him be as a younger, and he that is chief, let him does as if he does serve. And that's the example that Yahweh tried to show. show. That's, yeah. the, that's the pure example that's that he set, man. That's it. He washed their feet. He, yeah. he showed them how to be brothers, how to deal. Yeah. He even said, these people are going to know that you're my servants because you, the love that y'all show. Yeah. 
You hear that? Division. When you come in his truth, you notice it's division. Fuck all that. Division. Alright? You, you listen to me, you rebuke a brother when he's going off, yeah, you, you rebuke him, you, you tell him off when, you, when he's going wrong. You, you have to do all that kind of stuff. You have to do that to bring up a brother. But you lift him up at the same time. But don't keep on suppressing people all the time, right? We're talking about Yahweh Shai here, Yahweh Shai washed the disciples' feet. And we know in the level of Yahweh Shai. No way on a le level. Okay? Let me bring up a quick scripture here. Right, because I don't want to keep this long. All right. Um, Proverbs 16, 18 to 19. Right. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Who wants to be around the proud? Who wants to be around the proud? I'd rather be with the lowly and he's humble. Okay? Right? Some brothers get so exalted because brothers uplift brothers so much, a brother so much or a brother so much in the truth, he gets so exalted that he gets, he gets high mighty. Right? Because he's good with words and he's good with... Um, something is good, talented wood that, that they don't have. Alright? But it doesn't go that way. He's, he's got different talents. All right, some brothers, some do, some brothers don't even know what love is, really. Right? You read the scriptures, what love? We know what love is. We know the definition of love. Right? Is to serve you how about Shami and Shai and 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 first and foremost and keep His law, statutes, and commands. We know what love is. All right. And part of love is the brotherhood. Right? So it's not about just picking up the scripture and reading what love is, and that's it. You have to follow behind it too. With everyone, you don't be selective and say, oh, I'm going to stick with this brother and he's, you know, because I love him more. No, you have to love everybody. All right, we know that sometimes your spirit, we all come from different walks of life and then sometimes your spirit might resonate more. than We all understand all that. Maturity, all right? Maturity. But I'm talking about the pride. That's what I'm getting with, the pride. All right? The pride is a killer. Um... First John two. First John two. So look here. First John two. Sixteen and seventeen. Right. Right, let me start from 15. Love not the world, neither things that are in the world. Right? So some brothers are coming to this truth and they sprit still got things behind them that they bring into this, into this truth. Right? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, right? And the lust of the eyes of the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Shami Ashai abideth forever all right okay and that's the will of Yahweh by Shami Ashai in all sincerity right so to do the will of the Yahweh by Shami has to be in sincerity right let me see what else he's going to say Yes. For the most part, man, should be a spirit of unity, man. Yeah. Should be the spirit of Yahweh Shmuel uh, Shai uh, in the midst, man. No selection. You should feel, you should feel uh, a release when you get around brothers, man. You see. More than you do with your woman, you'll see. You hear what he said? When you become, when you come around your brothers, you must. It, there must be a form of release. When you come out of the, when you out of the brothers, when you go separate ways, of course you're gonna feel that tension again because you're back into the world. But when you come into the brothers again, when you're around brothers, right, you must feel that release. You're not supposed to talk to a brother. You're not supposed to see a brother and feel tense like you're afraid to talk to him. Fuck all that shit. No. If you know, listen, listen I'm going to say this time again and again and again. And I'll say this a trillion times more. The higher you get into this truth, the higher you get with your how about Shai, the more 
um, the more humble you should be. You have to prove a point. All right? You don't have to prove a point. You see that? You see that? Some brothers suppress you in this truth. Some brothers suppress you. You're supposed to feel comfortable in this truth. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. We all have our problems, you know. All right? We all have our problems. Some of us can't even piss straight. Right? Some brothers could piss straight. We all got different problems. Why do you want to come amongst the brothers and you feel tense and uncomfortable? Oh, you keep quiet there. You keep quiet. You shut up there. You just come in the truth. You shut up there. No, no, no. You, no, but I understand sometimes it's a balance too because sometimes you have brothers that come in this truth and they want to be amongst men and try to big themselves up. We understand that. All right? We understand that. But when you see a brother for years trying and you see a brother that is trying to be sincere, don't keep him down, same way, man. Don't keep a brother down. Right? Don't keep a brother down. You know when a brother is trying to be sincere. We all lift up each other because you have niggas too in this truth. All right? You have niggas too. Don't get me wrong. All right? That's why you must watch this video, Love the Brotherhood, because it goes into a whole heap of angles. It's not only that I'm talking about the pride, because pride, pride is the main thing here. Pride. Because if you've got pride, you cannot be a part of the brotherhood. Because pride runs this world. Pride runs this world. All right? Yahweh Bar Sham Shai runs the brotherhood. So you can't bring the things of this world into the brotherhood. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah? Get rid of it. It's all the scriptures on pride, right? But this is what I just wanted to bring up quickly. Really and truly is to have a little talk about it, yeah? And really what I wanted to say is to do a video to say to, to you, brothers and sisters, to watch this video. Behold I come, Jimmy's behold I come quickly, yes? Love the Brotherhood. It's about five days um, ago this is put up. That's all I wanted to bring out, all right? Because I tell you something, right? We're in the last days now. And I tell you what, I can't stand this fucking pride that's going on. I can't stand that Mr. Exaltation. He wants to be the number one man. And you can see it in the spirit. You can see it. All right? You can see it. All right? You can see the pride in brothers. See it and you can hear it. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. So I just want you brothers to what I say it for the fifth time, watch this video to wake you up. And I tell you something, even you brothers high in the truth to watch it too. Okay? Watch it too. Right? Because there's two brothers that come in a comic board. Other brothers, no, I'm not being selective. So lack of buying me. Higher brothers in this truth. They come in and they big they they respected it. Right? Because they know the brotherhood is important. So lucky, I'm not being selective. I'm talking about everybody is valuable on that comic board that comes on non-scoffers. I'm talking about guys that are genuine on the milk or on the milk or on the meat, whoever, or high elves or pussers that come on the comic board, right? They could they just know that being love, loving, and the brotherhood is a very important thing. All right. They know. Okay? It's a sweet thing, brothers. It's a sweet thing to, 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 to humble this. And I tell you something, humbleness. That's what it's all about, the humbleness. Yeah? You never know humble. Humbleness, I said humbleness, I'm paraphrasing. Humbleness pierce the clouds. I pray for more humbleness and meekness. If you want to step on me and trod on me and feel good about it, by all means, do it. Right? If I have to take it wrongfully right and it hurts right because these brothers talk about it too when the brother's fucked up and he's a nigger and he comes to put you down and he makes and he's and he's not brotherly right it makes you it makes you hurt 
The blood on the left, he says it, it makes him cry. What he's been through sometimes, it makes him cry. I've been through some things since I've been the truth. I have to wonder, I say, fuck this, man. What do you mean? This is the truth? Until later on, I'm hearing scriptures about who crept in unawares. And I'm starting to put two and two together because you know what? It's true because some brothers are really, you know, they're harsh. You don't be too harsh, brother. Right? The brotherhood means love. The brotherhood is looking, looking after each other. The brotherhood means removing pride. Yes? Removing pride. And that's the main thing, pride. That pride, that word pride could split up into, into about a thousand different sections. So that's why I'm, put, I'm putting that thing, pride. Right? Because a brother would hate you for no reason. But that knowledge of fact that demons are come on you. But if you think that you're good all the time, that no one can touch you, that is pride. So I'm just going on and on, right? Main thing is, watch this video, right? So with that, I'll give all praise and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Brakatha Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rakakodash. Okay? So continue to take the L, whoever you are, under the sun until Yahweh Shai comes back. Because Yahweh Shai washed the disciples' feet. And no one of us could be like Yahweh Shai. We could, we, could, we could follow his ways to the best of our ability, but we could never be like Yahweh Shai. Because he's the one that died for us. He died for his sins, his own sins, and he died for us. We could never do that in the flesh. Shalom.